Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shy Guy Rocks 1998 though all of you can just call me Matt. Welcome back to some more WWE 2K14 30 Years of WrestleMania. In the last video, we finished off the Hulkamania era with WrestleMania 9, and we entered into the new generation with Mania 10 and Mania 11. Now, let's get ready for the final match of Mania 11. Diesel made an impact when he entered WWE as Michael's bodyguard. As time passed, the two charismatic superstars competed as a tag team and held the tag team championship in 1994. At Survivor Series, however, Diesel was on the receiving end of Sweet Chin Music as Michaels accidentally kicked Diesel in the face. This led to an argument during which Diesel dissolved the tag team and vacated his tag team championship. Three days later, Diesel defeated Bob Backlund in just eight seconds to become the new champion. Michaels won the Royal Rumble two months later, which earned him a match against Big Daddy Cool for the WWE title at Mania 11. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And, and is for the WWE, WWE Championship. Championship. Making his way to the ring from San Antonio, Texas, weighing two. This is another instance of the click getting what they want. Because last thing I remember of this time period, no one liked Diesel as champion. No one did. Hell, even his his SummerSlam 95 bout against fucking what was it, King Mabel? Was it King Mabel? I think it was King Mabel. It was horrible. So horrible. One of the worst matches for WWE to ever do. And that's why I'm I am still certain the new generation, they can fancy it up however they like. The new generation was one of the worst times to be a WWE fan. The worst. And his opponent from Detroit, Michigan, weighing three. Detroit, Michigan of all places. Goddamn. The WWE champion, Big Daddy Cool Diesel. And there he is, folks, the WWE Champion. Give me just one minute. Big Daddy Cool Diesel against his former tag team champion partner, Shawn Michaels. We're going to see firsthand who the weak link of that tag team was, JR. Just look at the size right. of Diesel. Eat your heart out, Shawn Michaels. Michaels will not eat his heart out, King. Also, I think I may have interrupted commentary, but who cares? This is for the WWE Championship, friends. And once again, I'm going to try to push the limit and go for four matches. I feel like people might be tired of only three matches in a, in a match, in a video. Fuck. <laughs> Every, can't have a video without a slip of the tongue. Oh, no. <laughs> How is it hard to watch? It just fucking started. Well, I'm not sure I agree with that, King. Now, don't forget. Michaels hit Diesel with Michaels patented super kick at Survivor Series last year. And that was Diesel an accident. Exception, ditched Michaels and vacated the tag team titles. Just three days later, Diesel pinned Bob Backlund in just eight seconds. Again, mentioning WWE people who aren't playable in the game. For Sean to teach his former bodyguard a nice lesson. Well, Michaels gets his shot to do just that tonight, King. By virtue of his victory at the Royal Rumble two months ago. He's putting those yeah, the Royal Rumble. He has to be quick. He's going to have to use his agility and cunning to negate the force of Diesel. Sean is a ring technician, JR. Technically, I'm not sure if Diesel even knows what a ring is. I can't believe this. What in the... No! Oh, oh my God! Diesel tears his quad upon entering the ring. He's in big trouble. God damn. Now, our first objective here is to hit Sean with a big boot, which is one of Diesel's signatures. No way. That had to hurt people. That reverse swinging netbreaker has claimed victory over many a superstar. Ooh, that big right hand driven right into the rib cage. The monster diesel goes down hard. Watch it. Oh no. Whoa. He was able to reverse that. Whoa. Oh, big boot. Lord in heaven, what a landing. 
Shawn Michaels has said that he will do whatever it takes to win the WWE Championship. Shawn's going to fight to his last breath tonight. This is so personal to Shawn Chibiot. This will never get him a two weeks notice. Do you know that? No, you don't, buddy. Oh, look at the emotion. Michaels was trying to do his comeback there, which I did as Hulk Hogan way back in the Hulkamania Runs Wild thing. If you're playing as someone who doesn't do his finisher in the uh, comeback, like Hulk, it actually gives you a free signature and finisher to use on the opponent. Hence why it's called a comeback. And just use his speed to dictate the rest of this match. Yeah, Diesel has the strength advantage, but Michaels has the speed advantage. And honestly, speed could help you a whole lot. Oh. Oh! The arm drag. Hey, a reversal by Diesel. And punch! The longer this goes, the better it is for Sean Michaels. He's got the... All right. Yeah, Diesel's only finisher is the jack. So. No! Oh no! Oh no! No no! No 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 no! He's got the weight advantage. You gotta get shot. No! Sean has prepared himself and trained hard for this match. This is the match of his career. Well, this is the match of his life. Up. Jackknife! One, two, three! And Diesel gets the win! And still, WWE Champion, Big Daddy Cool Diesel! A hard fought matchup. Nonetheless, Diesel retaining the WWE Championship here at WrestleMania 11. Shawn Michaels has got to be devastated. I mean, he wanted this match so badly. Quite honestly, I think he got robbed, JR. Big Daddy Koo sending a message that the WWE is now running on Diesel Power. Congratulations to Diesel for his victory. And for winning that, we have unlocked the WrestleMania 11 arena. But let's move on to WrestleMania 12 already. At Royal Rumble 1996, Undertaker competed against Bret Hart for the chum for the championship, the championship. As the Phenom prepared to end the match with a tombstone, he was attacked by Diesel, who thought that he deserved the title shot. It was announced at Mania 12, Undertaker and Diesel would face off in a battle of WWE's most dominant big men. With the match approaching, the mind games began as the Phenom proceeded to torment Big Daddy Cool. Eventually, the psychological warfare peaked as Undertaker positioned a coffin at ringside. Diesel destroyed the casket, only to discover a life-sized replica of himself. The following contest is scheduled for Bang. one ball. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing <laughs> 300 pounds, Big Here he Daddy comes cool. again, Diesel! Well, here he comes. He's cool. I don't big. think he's cool. He's big daddy cool. I don't think he's cool. Be meeting this seven foot monster. And you wonder whether or not the big diesel truck by the name of the Undertaker just might run over big daddy cool here at WrestleMania. This? It could only happen, ladies and gentlemen, at WrestleMania. I must say, big daddy cool. Looks like he's pretty much keeping his cool, at least for the moment. I'm sure the Undertaker's been playing some mind games. But apparently, it hasn't worked. Anyway, um... <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting a bit scatterbrained here. This is another match in which we are introduced to The Undertaker's legendary streak. from Death Valley, weighing 328 pounds, The Undertaker! Wow! Look at that face, JR. What a ghoulish figure. Well, we're only minutes away from finding out the battle of the monsters here. The seven-foot Big Daddy Cool Diesel going one-on-one -on -one with the Phenom, The Undertaker. Look at the size of that guy. Six, Six foot, foot ten, ten inches, inches tall, 328 pounds. This matchup Good is Lord. going to be 
one of the more physical contests we've ever seen at WrestleMania. Very physical. This unquestionably very physical. Is the very, very dangerous. The Undertaker perhaps has never met a man quite like Diesel. A man who could very well plant the Undertaker six feet under. Haha, <laughs> you get it? Because he's the dead man. <laughs> he's a fucking zombie. Our objectives here is to hit a choke slam and a tombstone. This is a bit um bit of a challenge because the choke slam and the tombstone are both his finishers. So it basically is asking you to to build up two finishers against Diesel. And Big Daddy Cool Diesel one on one. These two have been interfering now, mind you, when playing on Legend difficulty, I when I'm when playing this mode on Legend no difficulty, I have two. had my As issues. The WWE Certain is matches, like the previous goal. playthrough where That's I did true. this match the here, previous WWE matches have known to give me trouble. Well, you got trouble on your hands. Almost like and the computer doesn't the like the idea of me winning. But I'm still gonna try to win as quick as I can. See, I, I fucking told you, they gave him a signature out of fucking nowhere, and already he's got his finish. But honestly, him having his finish is probably, as much as I wanna say it's because of the game, like, as much as I want to say it's because of the game not wanting me to win, I think the actual reason is they want to help me build up the finishers so that I can do the objective. No! No! Bad Diesel. Oh my god. Looking to extend his WrestleMania record here to 5 and 0. But first, he has to get past Big Daddy Cool. Diesel. You're not going to win, Diesel. I refuse. Oh. All right, I just need to hit that tombstone and win. Oh shit. The, the hell? Why was Paul Bearer distracting the ref? He knows Diesel is hurt. He knows the kind of punishment. The oh no! And like a sharp circle is playing, no! The Undertaker is a bad Diesel. Come on, Big Daddy Cool! No! I can't recall a time. <laughs> no, no, no! Jackknife! As the Undertaker is testing Big Daddy Cool right now. When times are tough, that's when a man's metal is tested, and Big Daddy Cool is the man. Oh, it may be time. Boom! The monster diesel goes down. Come on! Undertaker looking to make someone rest in peace. Tombstone! Pin! One, two, three, come on! Diesel! Why? No! I refuse! Like I said, certain matches give me a bit of trouble. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, even more. Get up! No! 
not great. Not great at all. No. One. Never. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Look out. No! No, 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 no. Damn it! Damn it! No, not here! Not here! No! Kiss! Why is it this match that gives me trouble? It's fucking Diesel! Anger! <laughs> Let me look here. Match rules. DQ's on. Damn it. Man to ever step foot in a Fuck you, Diesel. Ring. The Undertaker and Big Daddy Cool Diesel. One on one. These two have been interfering in each other's matches and costing each other their chances at the WWE Championship. You so won't stop me. The WWE Championship is every superstar's goal. That's true, but when your goal is at the expense... Diesel has to be careful here. Once The Undertaker gets his momentum going, it's so difficult... He's oh, my face! Never. Never. And did you hear the impact on that kick? No, I didn't get a chance. It's not often that the Undertaker has an opponent that can stand toe to toe and look him go. All right, this might be a no mistake about it. No. The Undertaker looking to extend his WrestleMania record here to 5 and 0. Oh. But first, he has to get past Big Daddy Cool Diesel to make that happen. Well, that's going to be a lot easier said than done, JR. Just look at Big Daddy Cool. No. Pure athlete. Oh, reversal. Oh. Oh, wait. I can't Come on. Hard from that back body drop. Game up. Now that's the way to turn it around. Look at the force behind that leg drop. And there's a quick kick. He's giving it his all, but will it be enough? No, no choke slam. Bad. Reverses it. And friends and neighbors, that's one heck of a punch. I think the Undertaker smells blood. He knows Diesel is hurt. He knows the kind of punishment. The Undertaker can dish out, and like a shark circling his prey, the Undertaker is about to attack. Come on, Big Daddy Cool, do something! I, I refuse! Where these incredible counter. Uh oh, it may be time. It is time. Choke slam. Finishing move. And now. It is time. Tombstone. And the creatures of the night are closing in on victory. One, two, three. Are you fucking kidding me? But Diesel hasn't stalled out yet. One can train for a year straight, but all the preparation in the world doesn't matter when you're facing the Undertaker. Fucking really. Calm. I'm calm. Heading back into the ring now. Two. Taken down with a hip toss. Watch out! Wow! Perfectly executed. To take a chance I'm like okay. that. Do you know how badly he must want to win this? Well, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. 
I'm, I have my resiliency for if he hits me with another jackknife. It's fine. I'm glad I'm not in there with Taker. Yeah, yeah, you should be. And inside out, close line. Undertaker looking to make someone. The King, I know the Undertaker can be impervious to pain. Three. Oh, the spine has just been decimated. The phenom has to be injured. No, no. A ferocious clothesline, just devastating. Look at this, he's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Don't, don't, don't. He's looking at it. Too fast, god damn it. He's got his shoulder and no bad diesel. Damn it. This has been brutal. He was able to reverse that. Too much, too much. An insane backbreaker. The monster diesel goes down hard. No! Bad! Get up! Get the fuck up! I knew you would do that, Diesel! Tombstone! One, two, three! Yeah! That was the first, not the first match. That was the second match, and I'm at 22 minutes. God damn! For winning that match, we unlocked the Mania 12 Arena and Kevin Nash Diesel WrestleMania 12 attire. Moving on. It is the dream of the challenger to become a champion. This is his big moment. This yeah. is his chance to steal it all, you know, to be the world champion. The crowning achievement of a lifetime of yearning for greatness. It is the dream of the champion to aspire to excellence, to have his legacy indelibly etched into history. Shawn Michaels, the confident challenger, a maverick who spits in the face of adversity. Bret Hart, a tenacious champion, the mighty ring general who refuses to contemplate defeat. I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. Tonight, for one illustrious hour in the epic Iron Man match, we will witness their passion, applaud their heroics, and marvel at their athletic prowess. It symbolizes who is the actual best wrestler, and he's gonna find out that, uh, that I'm the best. Two masters engaged in an extraordinary athletic event. Two men bound by one dream. After 60 grueling minutes, one man will have his arm raised high. The quest realized, the challenge overcome. The other will breathe loneliness. His dream shattered. All right. Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart's rivalry started in 92 when HBK, looking to achieve his boyhood dream, challenged Bret to a match at Survivor Series. Michaels, however, suffered another agonizing loss as Hart retained his title. Michaels, however, would not be deterred from his boyhood dream to become WWE Champion. He won the 96 Royal Rumble, earning a title shot at WrestleMania 12. It was announced that Hart would defend his title in the first ever 60-minute Iron Man match, where the superstar with the most victories in the allotted time would leave as WWE Champion. Listen. 
reaction to this capacity crowd. And Shawn Michaels coming in on a fucking zip line. Here he comes. This contest is the special Iron Man match for the WWE Championship. Making his way to the ring. From San Antonio, Texas, weighing 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen, for WWE action between perhaps the two greatest athletes who have ever And now, the opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, 234 pounds, the WWE Champion, Brett the Hitman Hart. I'm sorry, I had to do some kind of announcing. But only one will walk away from WrestleMania as the WWE Champion. Yeah, that's what it's all about. It's all about the title. It's all about getting to the top of that goddamn mountain. Everything we've seen here tonight, neither one of these guys may be able to walk out of the ring. Well, folks, that's what it's all about. The WWE It's all about the title. So, let's get started. This is going to be an agonizingly long match. A full hour, and points are earned by pinfall, submission, DQ, and countout. Before have two superstars been such polar opposites than Shawn Michaels. Our first objective is to complete and the WrestleMania moment, but one the of the championship in an Iron Man match. One of the special historical Hart, objectives is to go into sudden judgment. death. With the score tied 0-0. And then there's HBK, brash, arrogant, and not afraid to tell you exactly how good he is. And he backs it up every night. Well, both men will have plenty of time to showcase their skills. The most decisions within the time limit wins the match and the WWE Championship. He's really going for it now. So really, it's amazing to. Has been worrying a little too much about what oh. the fans think of him. Whoa! Brett is not totally focused or tries to please the fans. WrestleMania moment lose. completed. The so ref is out. Half of them are Hitman fans, and half of them are for Shawn Michaels. The crowd's allegiance may be divided, but they are united in their anticipation of how this one will end. Oh, no matter who has their hand raised tonight. WWE fans will come out the Next objective, Irish whip Bret Hart and moderate damage into the ropes. He hit the high risk move. Let me see Michael's signatures here. The diving elbow drop and the sharpshooter. HBK sees the opportunity. Bret Hart going. Boom. He leaps into the air for a beautiful. Look at him block the attack. And he strikes with a quick kick. A big fist to the gut. Nice reversal. Sean Michael, the showstopper. HBK will not be denied tonight. Ever since he was a young boy in San Antonio, Texas. Shawn Michaels has dreamed of being WWE Champion. He will not let anyone stand in his way. And let's not forget the fact that HBK and Bret Hart cannot stand each other. All right. I think that Come might on. be an understatement, King. HBK and Bret Hart could not be more dissimilar oh, fuck off, in game. nearly every category. Bret Hart views HBK as brash and arrogant, while HBK looks as Bret as stodgy and outdated. The only thing these two have in common 
into the ropes. Oh, Brett avoiding the kick. That's experience right there. Oh no! Jesus fucking Christ, Sean. The next objective is to Look get Hart he is into critical here. damage That's and Irish whip person. him into a turnbuckle. Hart he was and this Michaels match actually is not as long as you think it is. Reason being, after doing that, decision, after Irish whipping, That's how important it is. reason being is that after the Irish whip in the cutscene, the, oh shit. And the kick. As I was saying, after the Irish whip and the cutscene, the timer actually went down by 30 minutes. Watch it. Oops. There's the kick. Feeling it out, perhaps here. Ow. Showing the excellence of execution here. SBK is no stranger to competition. He is used to Ow. deep Fuck. to find the wherewithal to overcome any obstacle. If that's the case, Here we go. Come back. It looks like Brett Atomic drop. You know, I don't think this is how HVK Scope slam. Go. The Hitman has been incredibly aggressive during this matchup. Well, there's certainly no Here we go. Between these two. In the corner. Sure. Tune up that band. God damn it. Boom! That's the nature Into the corner! Michael's moving in! No! Oh! Jesus Christ, man! The tide has turned! And now we have 18 minutes left on the clock! Zero to zero! We've got to let that clock run out now. I completely forgot this match was on the fucking mode. So this is going to this is going to be an extra long one for you guys. That'll scramble your brains. Bret Hart showing the excellence of execution here. No! <laughs> no sleeper! No! He fights it off. And a veteran like reversal by Sean Michaels. Down he goes. I refuse. Oh, yeah, the, the clock goes down when it feels like it. Oh, shit! to the gut. Now that's the way to turn it around. Now that's how you block the attack. Sean's going to the top. Ah! He's dropping from the sky. Sean's going to the top. Oh no! Oh! A foot or two. He strikes his opponent with a swift flying form. Here we go. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Gotta do it. I gotta do it. I can't not do it. Tune up the band. Sweet chain music. Woo! And a hard shot by Shawn Michaels. And his attack misses. And the showstopper connects. Oh, reversal. Turns it around on him, and what a move. Ten minutes left. Sharpshooter. Oh, no! He's got the sharpshooter locked in. There's the submission. No! Oh! Position. Complete control. <laughs> Counter by HBK. A destructive 
spinning neck breaker. And he strikes with a quick kick. Shawn Michaels might be brash. He might be defiant. He might love the spotlight. But you must remember that Michaels can back it up like nobody else. Yeah. He was ready. We got a cover. HBK with a hard right. That one went wide. Michaels not letting up for a second. Oh, gosh. There's no telling how much damage that did. What impact from the knee? Oh. He's putting those educated feet to good use. And Ow. Leg drop. Heart. Oh, he's got to be in pure agony. Oh. Being applied. 60 seconds remain. The Only 60 open. seconds. And there's a blind form by the shoulder. Can I actually? I've seen that happen. Like. I can run at him and do it? And huh. again, the V block. He's taking control again. Listen to that chop echo throughout the arena. He misjudged the range on that one. HBK Come on. The opportunity. Pile driver. Sean's going to the top. No. We. Does he have his eyes open? And there's an elbow drop. A crushing axe handle from Bret Hart. The hitman sees his opportunity. Oh no! Well, that's it. Oh no, I have to do this. I have to kick. Oh, thank God the timer helped me. Look out! Sharpshooter! Hitman got him! He got him! Michaels did not give up. The 60-minute time, time limit has expired. expired. However, this match has been ordered to continue under sudden death rules, which means there must be a winner. Sudden death over time. This match will keep going. Now, the objective now, hit two finishers on Brett. He's pulling back. No! He's applying the pressure. This is Never! So Never! Whoa! HBK dodged that one. Good grief. Talk about high impact. Oh, no. I'm not Bang. sure how many of those he can withstand. No! Oh, good three. What impact. Looks like he's trying for a pin here. And no! First. Not again, god damn it, no! Objective build. Fuck, I'm out of time. I am out of time, unfortunately, people. I'm so sorry, but we need to stop. Which is a shame, because I I think that we only managed to get two matches going. We only managed to get two matches here, I think. 
Yes, we have only done two matches. We did Diesel versus Michaels and then Undertaker versus Diesel. And we are out of time. When we get back, we will go through this Iron Man match again. And we will win it. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time.